that one. I heard um, 
rush. Do this. Look down the chairs. Oh, looks like it's working. Yeah, okay. So, have you had enough? I think it was about seven minutes. So I think that's enough who for today. It doesn't sound so great on the uh, acoustic, um, on the acoustic uh, uh, classical nylon string guitar. I like this guitar. I like how it's sort of it's got a mellow. show you something a little bit of an art update here check out this canvas here so I found this canvas in the road and uh, I can't I can't ever help myself um, so I picked it up a friend of mine once asked me this is sort of related it was uh, uh, hey man I've got to ask you about art supplies what do you suggest and I said to him well you I suggest that you start with what you have so even if you just have a blue ballpoint pen that's where you can begin with you there's no need to go out and get the Five hundred dollar art art arter starter kit to begin with. You just start with whatever you have, and it looks like whoever created this canvas definitely delved into mixed media. You can see here what anyhow, right here there's a scar because this was pretty beat up when I found it. But it is linen, and this is seventy five by seventy five centimeters. But an eighty by eighty would be a hundred and five bucks, hundred five euros. So. Uh, my idea is recover, repair, and recycle. How's that? The three R's of art. Art! Hey. And um, so you think, oh man, no one wants that. It's going to be all effed up. There's a, some you know, stitching in here. But what I did was I took it and I took this stuff, which is called Sunbok. It's, a, in my opinion, it's sort of a granular pine saw. It's a, a solid form of pine salt detergent. And you <coughs> melt it down in some hot water. And I scrubbed this. And what I was hoping is that it would tighten up the, camp, the linen canvas. And indeed it did. Because uh, right here, this was a pretty profound puncture. And all this, there was, you know, this was all bent in. You know how like, uh, like if you have a stretched t-shirt, if you're playing you know, pick up football and someone grabs your collar and then it's all stretched out. So there were a number of places on here which was like that. And uh, <clears throat> when I washed it down, scrubbed it off, I not only cleaned it of any detritus, any dirt, also some of the paint here. And uh, I was in, um, what I did was I took the nails out. So the linen is held down by these nails. I left them on this one side, but all the rest is staples. You see, and then I'm gonna replace the nails. Uh, when this is dry, it's still a bit damp, and I'm, I want to tighten it up a bit more too. I'll bring this down, because you can see here, no, on this side, the uh, canvas is really uh, see the puncture holes from the nails. They're actually encroaching on the on the surface there on the, on the facing surface, and. Um, and <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to put some glue on here, some polyvinyl acetate glue, Elmer's you might call it, and so that'll keep that, hold that into place. And then I'm going to cover it with gesso, which is a white medium, which is this stuff right here, which is still extant on the canvas because it wasn't fully covered. And uh, Bob's your uncle, so this will be uh, nearly good as new. Now this is sort of following in the Japanese term of wabi-sabi, which is sort of uh, elegant imperfection. And there's another term which is more apt, which is called kintsugi. 
And that comes from the practice of repairing uh, pottery, ceramics. Hey, Susan, how you doing? How you doing? Any more snow? And um, the idea is that, uh, the philosophy of it is that uh, Kintsugi is similar to Japanese philosophy of wabi-sabi, which I, I spoke of earlier. Um, the aesthetics value marks, uh, Jap values marks of wear from the use of an object. It's um, It's a little bit, uh, it, it, it treats the breakage and repair as part of the history of an object rather than something to disguise. So I'm going with that. Lots of rain. Yeah, it's uh, was windy as heck today. They closed the park so that branches wouldn't fall on anyone. So that's my philosophy here. So all I got to do is wait for this to dry, tighten it up a little bit more, and uh, it's ready to go. Paris is great. You find uh, I found so many canvases just uh, discarded like that. It's a bit of a hassle to repair them. This looks complex, but it's really went quite quickly as the needle goes through the fabric rather easily, and it goes quickly just to cinch up things. And maybe you can see, I don't know if you can, uh, no, you can't, uh, there's a bit of a gap, but when it's covered with the glue and the gesso, the uh, medium, the ground medium, it's going to all plug up and be fine, so that'll be all right. Okay, I'm way over time, gotta go, ciao for now, bisous.